Okay, um, this next method is actually so simple it's almost embarrassing to talk about it. All you actually need are four things. You need some uh, sand, and here's my builder's sand, it's 200-500 uh, grain size, um, some graphene oxide solution, and some activated carbon. Now this graphene oxide solution is 10 milligrams per milliliter, which is far too concentrated for what we want. What we want is 4 milligrams per milliliter, or 0.4% uh, weight. Um, so you mix that with deionized water until it's the right concentration, and then you take your sand and you wash the sand with a 10% hydrochloric acid solution. That's to um, bite into the sand a little bit and to make sure it's all clean. Once you've washed the sand, uh, you add the graphene oxide solution, stir it up, and then put it into the oven. And now, it only needs 150 degrees, and it needs 150 degrees at two hours. So in order to stop that graphene oxide oxidising, what you do is coat it with a top coat of activated carbon, and that will create an inert atmosphere in there, and give you graphene coated sand. Once you've done that, you repeat the process again, so you get two layers of graphene on your sand, and you have your graphene oxide coated sand, coated sand which is really good for removing heavy metals, um, mercury, lead, that kind of thing, cadmium, it'll take that straight out of the water. Um, if you want to turn that into graphene coated sand, all you have to do is reduce the graphene oxide coated sand back down to graphene, and there's a whole load, load of ways of doing that, one way is just to heat it without its amorphous covering and it will reduce back to graphene. The other is to uh, spread it out and leave it in the sunshine. Uh, another one is to cook it with uh, ascorbic acid and ammonia. Uh, you can add sodium hyperborohydrate if you want. So there's lots of ways of reducing graphene oxide back to graphene. Once you've coated the sand, you can reduce it back. Uh, and so, as I say, it, it is so simple to do. The only real problem with it is you need this stuff, um, graphene oxide. And as we know, graphene oxide is actually not that easy to make. You can make it at home, hence all the videos that we've been doing on making this at home. But it is still um, challenging to get a good result, um, so it makes it difficult to uh, make enough of this stuff to actually make your graphene coated sand that way. But people are really interested in graphene oxide coated sand, and reasonably so, and that's how they're going about doing it. Now, if you want to give it a uh, really powerful antibacteriological properties, what you do is mix it with um, silver nitrate. So you mix the graphene oxide at the right concentration with some silver nitrate, and then you leave it alone for 24 hours with some sodium borohydrate, and that will um, reduce the silver nitrate down to actually metallic silver. You've got to leave it in the dark, incidentally. And the metallic silver will collect on the graphene oxide plates. You then wash it in centrifuge it so that all the excess silver actually comes out and what you're left with is graphene oxide coat in, no, sorry, silver impregnated graphene oxide flakes. Then you repeat the same process, that is you add it to your sand and you cover it and you cook it and you get um, silver graphene oxide coated sand. And that will kill bacteria more or less on contact. But a little sort of complicated, I think, uh, a little involved, and, and the silver salts are obviously going to be quite expensive. Anyway, I hope that was of interest to you. Thank you.